Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Today we're working on a GE over the range microwave. Uh, the customer's complaint is that the bottom of the door handle is loose, so whenever they go to open the door, um, it wobbles a little bit also. To begin the repair, we first must open the door. The tools you will need to complete this repair are a number two Phillips screwdriver and a small flat blade screwdriver. Now that the door has been open, we can now start removing the inner door trim here and we're gonna remove it along the perimeter of the actual, the glass frame. So to do so, using a small flat blade screwdriver, we're gonna begin wherever we can get in and just pry on the, uh, pry on the door gently because there's little clips that some of them will break off taking off the door liner. It's just something that you cannot avoid. So, but you wanna be careful so we don't break off um, many of them. And we're just gonna do this all the way around the unit. Some places will be more difficult than others. set this aside and now we have access to our spring here and then the actual screws that secure the door handle in place so we're going to remove both screws they're both number two phillips screws so we can remove the whole door handle We can now pull the handle straight off. We don't have to worry about the end caps, uh, except the broken piece, because uh, the end caps are will stay in place. So uh, we're gonna be replacing the bottom end cap, as you can see, as I removed it, the broken part fell off. So uh, I'm just gonna pull it directly off the handle. Let's we'll set the handle aside. Now that we have our new lower door handle base, we can now go ahead and install it. So the first thing we're gonna do is line up the actual base with the door. Now we can line up the door handle. Now there's two little pegs that stick out of each base and then uh, they actually will push into the actual door handle themselves. So we're gonna line up the actual door handle and push them directly on. Once the door handle is bent on, we can now secure the door handle with the two Phillips screws we removed earlier. Now you don't want to over tighten these uh, screws because it will crack the, uh, the base. So just make sure you're hand tightening them and that you don't over tighten them. And we'll go ahead and secure the uh, lower screw.
once this door handle is secured, we can now reinstall the actual uh, door trim. So to do so, we're just gonna line up the trim and push it directly on. We can now go ahead and close the door and this will complete this repair. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.